As stated in my guiding principles of the course, class time will, for the most part, be spent on solving more complex problems. These in-class problems are more representative of what will be on your exams and what you should focus on while studying. If you attend synchronously, I'll set up a problem and then you'll have some time to work with either your organized teams or your peers and colleagues and ask for help from the teaching team. If you're working asynchronously, I recommend that you pause the video at these points and try to work on the problems with some degree of diligence before moving on. Ask for help on Slack, see below, or your peers before moving on if possible. Just watching me solve problems will help you learn physics about as much as watching the Red Sox will help you learn how to throw a curveball. Not very much. You really need to do and practice, these are your own admissions, in order to learn. The word cloud here is comprised of the various action verbs from the detailed, what are we going to learn in this class document. Note that yes, you will be calculating, but you'll also be expected to discuss physics ideas in words and other representations such as diagrams. In fact, we'll be spending more time explaining concepts in words and diagrams in this class than in physics one. This increased emphasis on alternative representations is a result of the fact that the concepts in this course are quite abstract and much more removed from your everyday experience than in Physics 131. And our goal is to get a comprehensive picture of what light and electron is, and we can only do that by exploring these ideas with multiple representations.